Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I had a bunch of people emailing me and leaving comments as far as some of the other specifics in this major update that DJI released a couple days ago, that being the no-fly zone and the Find My Drone feature and how to access them. It's pretty simple, but I figured I'd upload this just to give y'all uh, an easier walkthrough. When you open up the app like I have here, all you're gonna do is click on the hamburger menu right to the right and you'll see the two new options right here for No Fly Zone and Find My Drone. If you click No Fly Zone, it actually will take you to DJI's website and it gives you specifics uh, as far as your location and what version you're running. And once you input what you want, it'll show you straight on the map uh, the restricted, restricted zones, authorization zones, warning zones, or enhanced warning zones and it'll automatically show you the restricted and the authorization but you can actually choose between the warning zone and the enhanced warning zones uh, by clicking on the check marks next to it kind of like what I just did right there and you can see what pulls up on this map uh, in addition to that if you go back to the hamburger menu again you can see the find my drone feature and it shows you where I am right here and I was actually out of town over the weekend so you can see the last time I used my drone was all the way down in the middle of the state of Florida right here and it shows you the missing duration and how long it's been since it's been used if you actually click on the location you can turn on your LEDs find the map coordinates or do an ECS beeping to try to locate it um, it's a really cool feature they baked into the app it's long overdue um, those are the two main features the additional uh, other feature is adding audio to the video since all y'all know the Mavic does not have any microphones it uses the phone's audio uh, to record so obviously you're not getting live audio from what your Mavic's seeing but you can do an audio overlay and that's just in the editor here which I'm sure y'all are familiar with that is basically all for that update there's a bunch of minor tweaks as well if y'all have any questions comment below thumbs up Subscribe to the channel and I'll make sure to try to get back with y'all as well. Thanks guys.